Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're with Titleist today at the Titleist Performance Institute in Oceanside, California. I've got Stephanie Luttrell with me, who's in charge of metalwood development for Titleist. Stephanie, good to see you. Nice to see you too, Chris. Obviously, since its introduction last year, mm -hmm. TS has been absolutely enormous for you guys. Yeah. You've had so much success with the drivers, the fairway woods, and now we've got brand new TS hybrids. We're going to talk about those today. Mm -hmm. I know you're excited about them in terms of what they're going to do for players in terms of performance mm -hmm. and just adding to the TS family. Absolutely. The TS drivers and fairways were an incredible product launch for us. They delivered maximum speed and distance and these TS hybrids really build upon that, offering players um, speed and distance, but also giving them shot stopping control and power that they need coming into the greens. And one of the great things about you guys in terms of hybrids has been the options that you give players to really fit their games. And mm -hmm. that's gonna be the case again with the TS2 and the TS3. Mm -hmm. Walk us through a little bit about what's different about each model and maybe who the perfect target player is for each one. Absolutely. Well, the TS2, which you're holding, is our all-around playability hybrid. It really maximizes our inertia, provides stable performance, and it's for the player that hits a hybrid more like a fairway wood that's a little bit shallower in terms of their angle of descent and doesn't stay in their posture as, as well. So that hybrid really offers maximum playability from a variety of lie conditions, and players will see high launch, and they'll see great shot stopping control and power with it. Um, the alternate to that is our TS3 hybrid, and our TS3 hybrid um, really plays upon that precision aspect of uh, those players that desire to hit a hybrid more like an iron. So those that um, hit it with a more descending angle of attack, uh, the TS3 is a really great option and fit for them. TS3 also leverages our SureFit CG technology, which allows for customization of center of gravity either into a fade position, a draw position, or a neutral position. So if you need center of gravity customization, we offer that in the TS3 hybrid. So in terms of some of the staple technologies, TS2 and TS3 will line up well with the fairway woods and drivers. Mm -hmm. Is it safe to say also for the player who's coming maybe from 816 or 818, the TS2 would be most similar to H1? Absolutely. Um, it, we have, for several generations now, we've segmented our hybrids in this way. We see that players really adapt and perform with hybrids in two specific and distinct ways, and, and that's that wood type hybrid and that more iron type hybrid. And so the TS2 replaces the H1 in our lineup and, and really demonstrates that wood type performance in a hybrid playability. And then in the TS3, it replaces that H2 and offers that iron-like performance for those that require and, and are able to hit it with a more descending angle of attack. And of course, TS, the, that name originally came from the Title of Speed project. Mm -hmm. And you guys have done a lot with the club face here yeah. with both of these products to really enhance ball speed. Right. Well, with every generation of products, we look at them uniquely. We look at the drivers, the fairways, the hybrids as what are the right ways to enhance performance for golfers with each of these product categories. And with the hybrids, when we started our research and development into these new hybrids, we leveraged a lot of what we learned with the TS drivers and fairways. And in our TS driver research, we found that our active recoil channel um, when we removed it, we were able to free up discretionary mass, we were able to lower our center of gravity, increase our inertia, and yet still maintain optimal low spin performance. And so as we looked at our fairway woods, we saw that the active recoil channel was still incredibly viable and important technology because of how they are used and how they are hit. And as we looked at the hybrids in that unique position, we saw that the active recoil channel, we were able to eliminate it just like we did in the drivers, allowed us to increase launch angle slightly, it allowed us to lower our center of gravity, allowed us to free up a mass, and gave us more speed and distance potential. In these hybrids, uh, part of the most important element is the speed chassis is the face and the fact that with eliminating that active recoil channel, we were able to thin the face 16%, which wow. might not sound like a lot in percentage, but in terms of overall thickness, it's incredibly thin and that is leading to incredible speed performance and, and improvements in terms of the distance on both of these hybrids. And you mentioned as well with the weight that was saved in addition to creating the thinner, faster face, mm -hmm. you've also increase the MOI with these products. Right. These hybrids are up to 10% higher inertia. 
um, and particularly in that uh, what we like to call high-low inertia property. And that's very important quality in hybrids because they're hit off the tee, they're hit off the turf, they're hit in a variety of different conditions. So for launch and spin stability, that's one of the main advantages that hybrids offer over utility irons or long irons is that IXX or high-low inertial stability. And people will find that they'll get great launch and spin control and because of that, better distance consistency as well. And I know one of the things here at Title is that you want golfers to think about is to think of these clubs as scoring clubs Absolutely. and one of the key components is the sure fit hosel mm -hmm. which allows players to independently adjust loft and lie to hit these in the windows they want, mm -hmm. the exact distances they want, with the exact shot shape they want. Yeah, absolutely. That's a key element of our hybrid technology. These are the most adjustable hybrids that exist in the marketplace. And the fact that we have independent loft and lie really unlocks for players distance potential and distance consistency. And what that allows you to do is dial in your loft to customize and optimize your launch and your spin and get your distance exactly where you want it but then also independently adjust your lie angle to improve your turf interaction and your starting direction of that golf ball coming off the face. And then finally, the last thing I want to touch on, and again, an area where you guys stand out, is the different shaft options that you make available mm -hmm. as stock choices for players to really suit exactly what they're looking for in terms of performance. Yes, our, our shaft R&D team does extensive research and development and partnership with key manufacturers of shafts. So the breadth of options that we have available in TS is incredible. We go everywhere from the even flow white, which is our low launch, lower spinning trajectory uh, shaft option, to the hazardous smoke black, then to the Tensei blue, and then all the way to the Kurokage black. And all of those options essentially give flight, launch, and spin variations. Um, and we feel confident that you're going to find your best fit within this matrix of shafts. That's great information, Stephanie. We appreciate you taking the time with us today. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it.